stop one introduction. After spending the early part of his career following the Minge style, Ken Matsuzaki's focus for the past decade or more has been the creation of ceramics that meet his own exacting standards. It is all the more amazing that many of Matsuzaki's most compelling works are born from the volatile process of Anagama-style wood firing, a method which requires both intense concentration and an almost supernatural intuition, what the Japanese call kan, to execute successfully. Of equal importance is the ability to project how the firing will impact a piece while still at the stage of creating the form from clay and glaze. Such skill obviously requires experience to develop, but it also takes a bold willingness to share power with the violent and fickle flame. Matsuzaki clearly relishes the uncertainty of this elemental process, yet he also enjoys the collaboration with fire, as he finds ways to place, move, or manipulate pieces in the course of firing in order to oblige the flame to affect his pots in ways that he desires. This process has been described as painting with flame. Stop 2 MK523, Yohen Shino Vase. The sheer diversity of Matsuzaki's body of work in recent years has been notable, but his current works are equally impressive for their balance of form, texture, and hue. Not balanced between those three, which could result in pieces of a bland nature, but the balance of each characteristic independently. Matsuzaki's sense of balance creates bold and cohesive ceramics of which MK523 is an outstanding example. The piece is a more organic version of the flattened mountain shape that Matsuzaki developed some years ago. Its striking combination of energy and repose, as well as its shape, reminds one of examples from Hokusai's famous print series, 36 Views of Fuji. Stop 3, MK506 and MK501. Yohen Natural Ash Glaze Faces Among his Yakishime pieces, so-called because their impermeability to water results from the firing process rather than glaze, an example like MK506 displays a fortuitous balance of natural ash glaze flow, reddish-brown flame flashing, and areas seemingly left untouched by the fire. In contrast, MK501 is notable for the sheer volume of ash and the color it creates on the work's surface. Stop 4, MK516 and MK518, Johan Natural Ash Glaze Shino Vases, and MK548 Gold Shino Tea Bowl. In his signature Johan Shino, Matsuzaki has achieved pieces that have an amazing sense of vibrancy. Works such as MK516 have a wonderful rhythm in the hand-applied Shino glaze. In examples that include MK518 and MK548, his Johan process has resulted in a range of subtle and beautiful colors, including iridescent pink, golden yellow, and deep smoky gray that are rarely seen among the ceramics of other makers. Stop 5, MK530 Narumi Oribe Vase, and MK552 Oribe Tibol. Furuta Oribe was a 16th century Japanese warlord and tea master who became known for his advocacy of indigenous Japanese ceramics and the beauty found in the imperfect. Oribe ceramics sprung out of this then innovative perspective of ceramic art. Ken Matsuzaki's Oribe glazed works are characterized by a brilliant glassy copper green glaze usually paired with iron pigment design. MK530 is a hand-built rectangular bottle form that Ken has mastered, with the Oribe glaze dripping down an exposed raw clay body. MK552, a tea bowl, utilizes wax resist to frame a signature floral motif that Ken, like his predecessors, has come to use repeatedly on different forms. The intentionally distorted tea bowl form, as are all of Ken's tea bowls, is in harmony with the Oribe style, which is characterized by asymmetry and dynamism. Stop 6, MK547, Oribe Guro Tea Bowl. Furuta Oribe's teacher, the master of tea ceremony, Sen no Rikyu, was acknowledged as the most influential figure for Tanoyu, the Japanese way of tea. 
Senno Rikyu favored black peoples above all, and even today, black chawan is highly esteemed. This preference, however, is said to have cost the tea master his life. Senno Rikyu, despite knowing his master loathed black, insisted on serving him tea in a black chawan. Oribe guro, or oribe black, is achieved by removing a red-hot piece from the kiln and immediately cooling. If cooled slowly, the glaze would turn brown. Oribe guro is most common on tea bowls, like this one of Penn's, MK547, hearkening back to the 1600s and the original grand tea master, Sen no Riku, and his life's greatest risk, all for the sake of a black chawan. Stop 7, MK538, Kiseto Incense Burner. Kiseto glaze, or yellow seto, emerged as a uniquely Japanese glaze in the 15th century. Its origins are attributed to attempts to reproduce Chinese celadons. With the same composition of materials for glazing, namely wood ash and feldspar glaze, one of two very different results could occur depending on the oxidation or reduction of the kiln. In reduction, celadon is produced. In oxidation, however, what has become known as the Kiseto glaze occurs. In modifying and controlling this outcome, two types of Kiseto became popular. Aburage Hada, named after baked tofu for the similarity in color and texture, and Ayame de Kiseto, which is a clear yellow generally marked with spots of green copper oxide known as tanpan. MK538, a sensor, has tanpan that highlights the inside's signature floral design for this piece size down, creating a more delicate and elegant look. <laughs>